Hi, I'm Alan Tutt, and I'm here to help you increase your faith in manifesting. Before we begin, make sure that you won't be disturbed for the next 20 to 30 minutes. And if you need to stretch your muscles, loosen your clothing, or turn off your phone, go ahead and do that now. For this process, we'll start by relaxing deeply. You may sit or lie down for this session. If you have a tendency to drift off to sleep easily, then you may want to sit up for this session. And if you have any difficulty relaxing, you may want to lie down. Okay, now that you're settled, let's begin by taking a nice and slow, deep breath. And as you exhale, imagine all tension, stress, worry, or other negativity leaving your body to be drained away into the earth below you. Good. Let's do that again. Nice, slow breath in and easy exhale out, releasing all that no longer serves you. Nice. We'll continue relaxing deeply by counting backwards from 10 to 1. When we get to the count of 1, you will be deeply relaxed and in an ideal state to connect with your inner divine essence. 10. 9, 8, 7, moving closer and closer to the divine mind within, 6, 5, 4, the familiar feeling of deep relaxation is growing stronger and stronger, 3, 2, 1, Wonderful. To make a more powerful connection with the divine, let's focus on something that feels marvelous. This can be anything you enjoy, such as the taste of your favorite food, the feeling of warm sun against your skin, the scent of flowers in a field, or a hug from a loved one. Allow yourself to indulge in the enjoyable sensations of pure pleasure. Notice the feelings of joy and bliss that arise within you. This is your connection to your inner divine essence, which connects you to the universal divine essence, which in turn connects you with everyone and everything throughout the world and the rest of the universe. At this moment, you are one with all that is, and it is wonderful. Let's sit in this feeling for a while, and as you soak up the sensations of this divine connection, consider the qualities and nature of the divine. The divine is pure love, pure power, pure wisdom, and pure perfection. The divine is without beginning or end and will last throughout all of eternity. The divine also has no reason to deceive anyone and is therefore an expression of absolute truth. Whatever the divine sets out to do, it is done. Nothing can stop the divine from accomplishing its objective. It is the ultimate embodiment of the legendary unstoppable force, which clears away all obstacles, all resistance, and all limitation. They are all swept away as if they were nothing. This is because the divine is the fundamental essence of everyone and everything that exists. 
just as you find the divine within yourself, the divine may also be found within all people and in all things. The divine is intimately connected to all, and love can easily be described as a deep connection. This is why we say the divine is also pure love, because the divine is deeply connected to all things and all people. And in this moment, since you are aware of your deep connection to the divine, you are also connected to all things and all people. So in essence, you are now experiencing this divine love with all of humanity. Enjoy the feeling and know that this experience will manifest itself as improved relationships with everyone in your life. The divine connection you are now experiencing manifests in other ways as well. Since the divine is so intimately connected to all things and all people, and also transcends the limitations of time and space, the divine is the ultimate source of knowledge and wisdom. Everything that has ever been known and everything that will ever be discovered is now within the divine mind of the universe. And through your connection to the divine, you have access to all information that has ever been known or will ever be discovered. The answers to all your questions may be found through your divine connection. And this manifests as intuition and psychic abilities when you allow yourself to be guided by the divine mind within, you will find that it's much easier to find the answers to your questions and solve whatever problems might come up as you work towards the goals you set for yourself. Before we continue, let's take a moment and refresh the feelings of joy and bliss within. Recall these wonderful feelings and imagine them getting stronger, more powerful, and even more intense. Imagine these divine feelings spreading throughout your entire body and mind. How far can we go before the sheer enjoyment you get from your inner divine connection completely overwhelms you. Allow your feelings to carry you deeper and deeper into yourself where you can experience a much more powerful connection to the divine. Moving closer to the divine is a little like moving closer to the sun. You feel the energy and power much more intensely the main difference is that when you move closer to the divine, it just feels better and better. The more time you spend deepening your divine connection, the more you absorb the qualities and characteristics of the divine. As you now enjoy the powerful feelings of the divine, your own divine power grows and you become a much more powerful co-creator with the divine. Whenever you set an intention to manifest something, the message you send to the divine comes through loud and clear, and it is done for you as you desire. You and the divine, working together to manifest your vision of perfection in physical space and time. It is believed by many that the reason life exists is for us to serve as co-creators with the divine and manifest our visions into reality. Earth is a school in which we learn to harness our inner divine power to manifest whatever we desire. 
and through manifesting whatever we desire, we learn that some things are more desirable than others. And therefore we learn to consider the outcomes of our desires before manifesting them. For this reason, we are given access to the wisdom of the divine mind, so we can ask to see the outcomes of our desires before we manifest them. And we are given access to divine power so we can manifest whatever we intend, whether it is good for us or not. As the old saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. If you create a mess, you have to clean it up. Luckily, when we open ourselves to the divine guidance, we are protected from the mistakes our conscious minds might otherwise make. And when we manifest our desires in a spirit of love, joy, and gratitude, we are further protected because the divine uses these feelings to set the context in which our manifestations will be experienced. And as you've already learned, when you focus on manifesting happiness, love, joy, and other positive feelings, the events that take place in your life will only serve to help you feel more and more of these wonderful positive feelings. And the end result will be a joy to experience. Let's take a moment now and set an intention to manifest a general feeling of confidence and trust, which will manifest itself as events that give us confidence and events that give us a reason to trust. Remember a time when you felt incredibly confident. Maybe you had just completed a difficult project or maybe you were selected as the best at what you do. Or maybe you had a day where everything seemed to go your way. Perhaps someone asked a question and you flat out knew the answer. Or maybe you watched a movie and the main character expressed supreme confidence. Whatever the experience may have been, Remember the feeling of confidence now. What is this feeling like? How do you experience this feeling now? Where is the feeling located within your body? Is it warm or is it cool? Does it feel hard or soft? Does it feel light or heavy? If it had a color, what color would represent this feeling of absolute confidence? If this feeling made a sound, what would confidence sound like? If you could touch it, what would that feel like? When we know the answer to a question or know a fact to be absolute truth beyond any shadow of a doubt, this confidence, this faith can also be called a feeling of truth. Some things just are, and there is no logic in questioning their reality. The sun is an ever-present reality in our lives, as is the earth below our feet. The laws of mathematics and science are unwavering and absolute. The universe is an absolute truth, as is the fact that you are a divine being with divine power to manifest your desires. Imagine that you have a long history of success in many things, including a history of successfully manifesting your desires. 
pretend that this is something that has happened over and over again so many times you could not count them all. It's something that has always been true. As you consider this idea, recall the feeling of confidence and make sure all aspects of this feeling stays with you as you also think about a life where you have always been a powerful and successful manifestor. What adjustments would be necessary so that this idea feels just as much a statement of truth as the ideas of the sun, the earth, and the universe being absolute truths? Imagine that these adjustments have already been made and explore in more depth the idea that you have always been successful at manifesting your desires. Imagine yourself going through a process to manifest something and imagine yourself feeling as if the end result is a foregone conclusion and success is the only possible outcome. Imagine that every time you set an intention to manifest anything, it happens as if by magic. The first few times this happened, you were probably surprised, but this has happened so many times that by now, you just expect it to happen. You learned a long time ago that in order to manifest your desires, you merely need to connect with your inner divine essence, imagine what you would like to manifest, and trust that it will happen. It's a simple process, and with the experience you've had in using it, it's now an easy process. Anyone can do it. Your long history of connecting to the divine over and over again to get answers to your questions and manifest your visions has helped you grow and become a much more powerful divine being in your own right. You now embody the essence of the divine within yourself, so much so that others may mistake you for a deity or an avatar of the divine. None of this bothers you because you have also learned to effortlessly maintain your divine connection continuously. You are always connected to the divine and the feelings of divine joy and divine bliss stay with you in every situation. Divine wisdom is easily accessible anytime you need it. Divine power flows through you and through your life, making every situation turn out magnificently, giving you the best of all things. When you know you can manifest anything you want and follow divine guidance to manifest the best in all situations, you get the best and life becomes an eternal experience a perpetual luxury and satisfaction. And since you can still have as many adventures as you desire, life just gets more fun and more enjoyable. Now, before we end this session, let's set an intention to manifest a lifetime of successful manifesting Refresh your divine connection by relaxing deeper and recalling the feelings of love, joy, and bliss. Now, imagine that every time you set an intention to manifest anything you may desire, the outcome is guaranteed and manifests quickly with divine perfection. Most of the time you get something much better than you had intended. Imagine that each and every manifestation session produces a feeling of confidence and trust that the outcome will perfectly match your intended vision. 
the intention has been set, and it is essentially done. You will see this perfect outcome in due time. And speaking of time, we are now at the end of this session. You are welcome to return and experience the magic of this session as often as you desire. Each time you do, your confidence and faith in your manifesting ability will grow stronger and stronger, and you will find your manifesting efforts getting better and better. The only limitation to what you can manifest is in your beliefs. And the more you believe you can manifest, the more your manifestations will be successful. Feel free to use this session over and over again until you not only believe you can perform miracles, you know you can because you've done so many times before. And as you now bring your attention back to your body and the room in which you left it, bring with you the feelings of confidence, faith, and the divine connection you develop during this session. Your growth as a divine being will stay with you always, and you'll soon notice that everything seems to work better than it did before. Take a nice deep breath to help your body wake up again and clear away any drowsy feeling that has not yet been dispelled. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes and greet the world around you with a new level, a new divine level of confidence and faith. It is wonderful. Until next time, be blessed, my friend.